Greetings everyone, Zed here. Patch 4.4 has literally just launched moments ago. It's been an hour or two since it launched. This is my first time coming into the game. You can see I have all these red dots everywhere. Actually, we should, should probably get rid of these before we get started because they're actually going to kind of annoy me. Oh, sick. We got the Paimon name card right at the gate. Very cool. Very cool. Oh my god, the skins are here. Okay, we'll have to purchase these on stream tomorrow. Very exciting. Okay. No, oh, you know what? I'm going to get them right now for this video. Do Let's do it. Oh, perfect. Beautiful. Beautiful. Gone you. Let's go. Gone you. Let's go. An outfit for a banquet. All right. So like I said, I just, this is my first time coming into patch 4.4. And believe it or not, as a completionist for me, the most exciting thing about this patch, it's not the wishes. It's not the new characters, it's not the new weapons, it's the new area. I am looking forward to opening some chests in the new area because of three-star weapons. Yes, you heard me right. Three-star weapons are the reason I'm actually hyped for this patch. So believe it or not, when 1.0, Genshin 1.0, this is three years ago, we got Mondstadt and we got some of leeway like most of what we currently know as leeway today we didn't have the chasm here so that was an exception but we had you know all of this area of leeway and then we had we didn't have dragon spine and then we had monstat here now the interesting thing to note is that chess not all chess common chess excluded chess in monstat and leeway actually have three star weapons that are specifically coded to drop in those chests and you cannot get these weapons from anywhere else they do not drop anywhere in the game you can't buy them from npcs they don't come with wishes you cannot get these weapons anywhere else and right now here on screen i will actually show a list of what those weapons are i don't have the list off the top of my head so this here is a current collection of all of my weapons my goal as a genshin completionist is to get one copy of every weapon to level 90 and if possible get rank 5 refinements on every single weapon now, five-star weapons, this is never probably going to happen. I'm never going to have every single five-star weapon at R5. That's really crazy and requires a lot of spending. But you can see here, I do have quite a lot of them. Um, but four-star weapons, for me, is an obtainable goal. Um, I'm getting pretty close to getting all of the four-star weapons to level 90 and having them refinement rank five. There's a few that are forgeable that I can't get unless I have a proper amount of billets. So I'm farming every world boss every week to try to get as many billets as I can to get the forgeable weapons to R5. We're almost there. We're getting really close. But for today, this video, this is something I want to kind of throw out a PSA about. There are three-star weapons in Mondstadt and Leeway chests that you cannot get anywhere else. And that's what this video today is about. When 1.0 came out, you know, I wasn't, I didn't know this. I didn't know that there were specific three-star weapons that only dropped from chess. And unfortunately, I probably foddered a ton of them away, not realizing how exclusive they were. This right here is a complete collection of every three-star weapon. There's actually one three-star weapon that I am missing. It's like the white great sword, I believe it's called. Let me actually bring up this um, this tracker here. This is a tracker of that I personally made for myself to keep track of all my entire weapon collection. Um, I have a list here. It's just lists one copy of every single weapon. You see I have five stars, four stars. Um, and then when you come down to the bottom, it's three stars and two stars and one stars. So you can see here, this is basically all of the three-star weapons are right here on the screen. We have bows, catalysts, claymores, pole arms, and swords. Now, I haven't started leveling the three-star weapons, so that's why they're all still level 40. Probably after I finish the four-star weapons, I'll start working on three-star, two-star, and one-star. Those are going to be, like, really easy to do once I finish all the four-star weapons. But you can see here... When it comes to refinements for three-star weapons, the green is obviously refinements that I have, and the red is refinements that I do not have. You can see there's a lot of refinements here missing. And the reason that these refinements are missing 
is because of these exclusive weapons that drop from Mondstadt and Liwei Chess that you can't get anywhere else. So why does this matter? Why does this matter today? Why does this matter in 4.4? Well, believe it or not, when the Chasm dropped some time ago, um, I think it was before 3.0 at some point, I think it, it obviously had to have launched before Samara launched, the Chasm came out, and believe it or not, the Chasm chess had these weapons in them. They had leeway-specific weapons in them. So it's my hope today that in this new um, Chen Yu Veil, we're going to find some of these weapons in the chess in Chen Yu Veil. I don't know if they're going to be there or not. I have no indication of whether or not these are going to be. This is completely a scientific experiment. This could go horribly. I could go to Chen Yu Vale right now, look for chess, and not find any three-star weapons. Um, so this, like I said, this is a science experiment. I have no idea what's going to happen. Uh, let's get into it. Let's go. We're going to go to Chen Yu Vale and we're going to find out. Now, the weapons that are exclusive to Li Wei are White Tassel, Halberd, Skyrider Greatsword, Twin Nephrite, Filet Blade, and Messenger Bow. The ones that I'm actually missing is um, this Messenger one. I could get two copies. I could get Twin Nephrite. I could get a copy of that. Uh, Skyrider Greatsword, we could get three copies of that. And I think that's it. So those are the ones we're specifically looking for. This Recurve Bow, Raven Bow, Otherworldly Story... Uh, we have to wait until a new Mondstadt region opens up, which I've heard down the pipeline there might be one. I don't know if it's going to be in the 4.0 series. It might be after Natlin at some point. We might be a long ways away from that, but there's supposedly going to be a new area that opens in Mondstadt. Hopefully. This isn't, there's no leaks or anything. This isn't like a leak, but there are other regions in Mondstadt that have been referenced in the story that someday we'll hopefully see. Now, this Dark Iron Sword here, this is an exclusive weapon you get from an NPC in Leeway. I'll put a little information on the screen right now about who this NPC is in case you're curious about it. But if you get this sword from an NPC and you fodder it, it's gone. It's You'll never get it back again. It's the only copy of this sword in the game. So you better pray you didn't, if you're a collector, you better pray you did not fodder this sword if you if you've obtained it all right so let's put our scientific hat on and let's go to chen yu vale and see if we can actually find a chest that has some of these weapons in them now i've literally just opened the game for the first time in 4.4 so i don't know um here's the area right here this is chen yu vale looks pretty big we've got a couple new Statues of the Seven to explore. So I'm gonna... I actually don't know how to get there. I don't know if we get there from Fontaine or do we get there from Leeway. Let's just freaking... Wait, what is this? There's a there's a waypoint here. I was gonna go here and try to walk over, but there's literally a waypoint right here. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. All right, from the... Carp's Rest. Oh, interesting. All right, well, we're not going to spoil any story here. This is just a guide, so we're going to probably skip over this part, okay? Ooh, we got an achievement. Okay, beautiful. All right, so I guess we are here. We've landed. Okay, so first goal is I just want to get these two statues of the seven opened up. So keep in mind the chess that drop weapons, you they can't be common chests. They have to be, um, I believe they have to be precious or luxurious. So we'll have to see if I can find a precious or luxurious chest. Wow, this place is huge. Holy smokes. And that's just, that's not even everything. Jesus. There's a chest down there. There's a chest. It looks like a luxurious chest. Wait, no, it's a remarkable chest. Wait, is that remarkable? What kind of chest is that? Chad, what kind of chest is that? I don't, I can't even tell for some reason. Well, these are ice enemies, so this isn't going to help much, but... No, the chest isn't guarded by enemies. What is that chest? 
Wait, can I just shoot in any direct? Oh my god, look at that. That's so cool. How do I get this chest, chat? I don't know how to get it. That's a bummer. I don't know how to get that one. Oh my god, this is so cool. Like, you can get around so easily with this. Okay. Let's get to that other statue of the seven just so I can open up the map a little bit more. Damn, this is so far away. chest but that's common it's a common chest it can't be a common chest it has to be better than a common chest oh there's a chest down there let's get that it's probably remarkable again wait no 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 that looks pretty good that's a precious chest okay we gotta find the sealies that's all we gotta do we just have to find the sealies that shouldn't be too difficult right there's one up here Oh, we should be using Fiorina for this so we can cross easily. Okay, that's one of three. Where's the other ones? We gotta kill this goat. <laughs> uh, we need to find the other sealies. <gasps> that one there? Yep. Oh, we have to shoot ourselves at the sealie. Oh, that's so cool. Wait, what is it saying? Gameplay tutorial. Oh, that's cool. All right. I like that. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. We found two. There's got to be a third one somewhere. Very nice. That's a ch That could have a weapon in it for sure. <gasps> there it is. Okay, there's the Sealy. All right. Chad, I've never been so excited to actually find Sealies. Like, normally I just don't care, but this is actually kind of hype. I know we should be choosing Shen Hao first, but this is this is exploration. We don't need to we don't need to use perfect rotations, right? We just need to do the thing. We just need to do the damn thing, right? Let's go, precious chest, let's go! Twin Nef right there it is! Chat! That's it! Oh my god! Twin Nephrite, that's it, that's it, that's it. This glorious day, glorious day, it's finally here. We have new three-star weapon. Oh, 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 I'm so happy. This is glorious. We finally, finally can do this. waiting so long you have no idea how long i've been waiting for this moment this is insane this is bar none my favorite part of the patch like i know it's super unhinged to actually care about three star weapons but this is so cool now i can go into my tracker um this is i'm totally nerding out right now uh we can go in and my catalyst i can r5 twin nephrite we did it we did it Oh, this is so great. Okay, so in case this is the end of the video, I don't know if this is going to be the end of the video or not, but PSA, everyone, there are limited three-star weapons in this new Chen Yu Veil. They are here. You need to know what they are. You need to make sure you don't accidentally fodder them. They don't come locked into your into your equipment. Um, but let's say you come in here and you try to level up a weapon. If you just auto add your weapons, that twin nephrite I just got is going to show up in that list. So you have to be really careful. Oh, now I'm like blocking it. If the twin nephrite will show up in the list right there over, over there, oh, over <laughs> chat. What am I doing? It will appear over here. And it will be in that list and you will fodder it. So you need to know what these weapons are. If you care at all about these weapons, you need to know what they are. And you need to make sure you lock them when you find them uh, so that you do not accidentally fodder them. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this reaches you in good health. Reminder that I will be wishing tomorrow. This video is going live tonight. So I will be wishing tomorrow for uh, Jian Yun and C6 Gaming. We'll be doing 300 wishes. There is a giveaway as well and a Discord link uh, in the description of this video. For now, that's all for me. See you guys in the next one.